Welcome, in front of me is a Samsung Galaxy A55 and today I will show you how we can record a screen on this phone. So, to get started, pull down your notifications by swiping down from the top of your screen and then swipe down once again to extend the list of visible toggles. Now on one of the pages you should have a screen recording toggle like this one, that might be on the second page, if you don't see it on the first just swipe to the left. Anyway, once you see this toggle, you can simply tap on it. It will bring up this uh, pop-up right here, letting you choose what kind of sound will be recorded. By default, it selects media, but you can change it to not record anything or record media and mic. Though with the last option, I do recommend using headphones for that, as if you don't, uh, when the device is recording sound, it might record or it will record the sound from a device that it's being made internally the system, whatever for instance music is playing, and then once it comes on to speakers, the microphone will pick it up for the second time, which will create an unwanted echo effect. And below that we have show tops and touches, which I will enable just so you can see how that looks like, as it might be distracting for, for instance, gameplay purposes. Anyway, let's start recording now. It does have a countdown, which we can skip. And here we have a bunch of different toggles, which you can just mess around with. Of the camera. We can also pause the recording and let's see if there is a specific application here. Nope, we don't have it. So in any case I'm gonna stop the recording by clicking the square which will automatically get saved to your uh, photos or gallery application whichever we have here. Oh, there we go, we have gallery. So let's open it up. And in here we can navigate to albums and we should have a... It's going to be visible on the recent, so that's the screen recording, but I do want to see if we can find it somewhere else. Yikes, unfortunately it looks like we can't. So, um, I'm pointing that out because it will make it very difficult to locate your screen recordings later on. If it's visible on the recent, that's not very helpful. And under pictures, obviously, if you want to find something down the line, you'll just need to scroll through just endless amount of content that you have just saved to your phone. Which obviously might make it much more difficult to find the one thing that you're looking for. Uh, the reason I'm pointing that out is because other devices uh, do create a specific album called screenshots or screen recordings uh, for this specific purpose. Samsung apparently is not one of those. In any case, I'm gonna now play it back. Now, while it's playing back, I'm gonna talk about one very important thing which I wasn't able to showcase here, which is uh, the reason I was looking for Netflix is because Netflix is one of those applications that comes pre-installed with a bunch of devices and has control over your uh, phone or any kind of like smartphone uh, that you can't really take away from it. So if you try to, for instance, record screen while Netflix is open, specifically record Netflix as an example, uh, you will end up with having just a straight up black screen. And that is by design, it's a feature purpose, purpose or feature design of Android designed to protect the user, but most applications use this in a county way to basically uh, remove uh, the user's ability to do something that they wouldn't want you to do. And there's nothing you can do about it. So just to explain this, the feature to block screen recorders is a good thing because as an example, if you are, for instance, using your bank application and you decided to punch in your pin and you have some malware that is basically spying on you right now, uh, that malware with this kind of feature will not be able to see your bank application because they do utilize that as well. So it will just get a straight up black screen. Uh, but let's be honest, Netflix doesn't even come close to bank applications and therefore it should not have any kind of reason to use this. And as a user, you don't have any kind of control over that. So once an application uses it, that's it. Uh, basically, they show you middle finger and uh, say, have fun. Um, so yeah. And that being said, this also extends to screenshots as well. But anyway, with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.